Hello and welcome to another how-to video. My name is Ditech, C2 at DVS, and today we're going to take a look at our brand new Sentinel CCTV mask. You saw it first last week on some of our social media channels. Really excited to bring this to you guys as a ready-made deployable CCTV tower. Now we've worked in conjunction with one of the best CCTV mast manufacturers in the UK, very well known, to make this what we class as a distribution style CCTV mast. And we're super excited to bring this in a very narrow down uh, selection so it makes it really easy for you to offer this to your customer base in a very simple selection. So the simple selections will be a four megapixel live guard, AccuSense, 8 megapixel turret live guard, so a 4 and 8 megapixel, depending on if you want lower or higher resolution, and also the Bi Spectrum Thermal. All of them do have the live guard functionality, and we do offer this in a solar version as well. This isn't the solar version, they are sending the solar panels down to me very shortly. They're just making a final tweak to the adapter. Uh, so we're going to have this in a standard seven day. Uh, so charge it by mains or 110, I'll show you the inside very shortly. So you charge it with 110, uh, can be left on charge all day by the on-site generator and then it will run overnight up to seven days usage. And then the solar one is more like 20 to 30 days. So really, really exciting. We'll open this up and we'll run through the technology that's inside it. It comes ready made, ready deployable for you guys. So you don't have to do anything. It's very, very simple. Now the concept of its design is this collar here is galvanized and that actually folds down so this comes down to here so the idea being you can transport this in the back of a, a, a van very very easily it's designed in a way so two people can easily take this to site with the handles take it off and then deploy it to site very very simply so everything in its nature is designed for no or very little mechanical moving parts so therefore it's very reliable and very robust uh, user service or parts it like would be the cameras for you guys anything in beside inside we'd, we'd cover that but there's very little to go wrong because of the nature of the design is it shouldn't go wrong the cost also includes any paint color in any british RAL code we've had ours done in the fabulous dvs green but if you have a color scheme the default most people would have is white but if you have a color scheme you want or send us the british RAL, and we can get that made to that british RAL code at no extra cost now we are also offering a graphic package with this so for a set cost you can also have this stick it up you know for your company logos etc so it makes it very very simple now all of the cameras inside have a 256 gigabyte sd card so each camera operates independently and they're 12 volts so when I show you the internal workings of this device inside each camera is individually fused so therefore if one camera does accidentally uh, fail it doesn't bring all of the other cameras down and each one does have its own 256 gigabyte SD card that makes it a very very robust offering like I said there are three versions of this and then two versions in the solar so a 4 megapixel an 8 megapixel and a bi thermal in the mains version and then we have it with battery and then we only have it in the four megapixel and eight megapixel in the solar version the reason being the bithermals draw too much power for solar and therefore the runtime would reduce drastically and therefore not give you or not what we would want to offer for you and your customer base so very very simple design so i'll probably transfer you over to my mobile phone um, to show you this uh, very very unique uh, design so i can walk you around the tower the one thing I have set up, it has a 4G router inbuilt and we've partnered with Roam Networks. This has one of the Roam Networks unlimited SIM cards in there. Now the only drawback currently with that is it's very, very cost effective, uh, unlimited data and all of the cameras added to my High Connect account via that 4G Teltonica router, which is included in that price, but we don't have the fixed IP on there. So if you do want this monitoring and you need the fixed IP SIM for, if it's Imix or Sentinel or something like that, then we can either look at the Roam fixed IP offering, uh, say 20 gigabyte a month, and then we can can offer you that with a fixed IP or we can look at a CSL option depending on what your needs are. I am currently investigating the use of a VPN via the Teltonica router that is built into this unit which will then allow us to remotely be able to service these cameras and making adjustments etc as required so that's something I am currently investigating. So all you need 
to take this to site is a van or a flatbed to transport them around. They have removable wheels and a removable handle on the front, which I will show you in more detail in a second. Uh, two people, they've got handles on either side, so you can simply lift this unit on and off, and it's designed for a simple deployment with two people. If you take the batteries out of this unit, so the batteries are removable inside, so in this mains powered version, they're gel batteries. In the solar version, they would be lithium take the batteries out which reduces the rate drastically and allows you to maneuver it probably one person when that mast is fully down uh, it's very simple to maneuver and all you need to do is undo the nuts which I'll show you via the smaller camera in a minute and as you can see these are the active deterrent cameras and therefore shout and flash the lights at you and we've got two set up now so if I walked across the other one And that gives us our active deterrent. The idea being, if somebody comes within the vicinity of this unit, they're going to be deterred from any further uh, activity. So day and night, you could have that programmed on a schedule or 24 seven, depending on your application and deployment. And of course, due to the 4G route, it would also send you the event. And in this instance, the Hike Connect notification, which I will show you shortly. So I'll transfer you back over to the phone and give you a closer look at the tower. Okay, so I've transferred you over to my phone now, so apologies if the video and audio is a little bit shaky, but it's a much easier process to show you this via my phone. So somebody just walked out and triggered the live guard function of this unit. So what is the unit? So you can see here, the height of the unit is about 2.5 meters with a collapsible galvanized steel column that goes down and fits flush against here. The purpose of this is to make it very, very user transportable and a very small profile with a very small center of gravity. Gravity, Like I said, you can have any RAL color. We've gone for the DVS green, um, which absolutely looks fantastic. I know you'll agree. Four cameras fitted on the top. So we've got the 360. See, there's the live guard function. So we've got the 360 degree perimeter awareness. That's the bi-thermal there, and I can show you the height connect uh, shortly. But you can see 360 degree awareness. So when you set this up, you just tilt and turn the cameras to cover the area you need. And because of the AccuSense, this will be very stable in any external application. It can be used in vacant property. You don't have to just use this outside. It could be fitted inside in a vacant property scenario. Very, very user transportable, like I said. So both sides have the two handles. So the idea being is you can maneuver this round site very, very simply and we have oversized wheels which allow us to transport this over rough ground to any site um, application that is required now these wheels are removable you can actually un unloosen the two top bolts here these slide out and you can slide legs in their place so if you don't want to leave the wheels on we suggest you just buy a couple of sets of wheels rather than one set per tower unless you do want to keep those wheels on and you can simply remove the wheels and fit legs to keep it on steady stable ground now one thing to point out is we are looking at a new leg system so they're currently having a meeting today to look at an improved leg deployment system and hopefully i can have an update very very soon the legs simply slide in and, and give you like a triangle format from either side forward but it ideally needs to be on stable ground if it's not you're probably better off leaving the wheels on but we are looking at that as a next improvement another thing they're looking at is this uh, rubber bung will stop water going down into the mast itself but then there is drainage holes below it this rubber ring moves up undo these nuts here and then inside here is a release mechanism which i'll show you now which allows this whole column to slide down now we just slide that in place to stop any rain or water ingress into this unit but again it is waterproof inside now they are looking at a new collar which fits over here uh, so basically protects this and the water would run down straight off and over the side of this nice chamfered edge and again this is the removable transport handle apologies this is the rem removable handle this is how you lift up the unit and then maneuver it either way with the batteries and fully up uh, this is probably be around 35 kilograms so it you know can be moved on your own um, but i suggest probably for safety two people would be there to assist you but the handle is removable or you can choose to leave that in and of course it is galvanized the same with the wheel on this side it can be removed and two stainless steel handles so on the back of the unit you'll also notice there's two rubber bungs now we can either take a permanent 110 feed into here so if this is staying on a construction site longer term or on a vacant property we can put a gland in there take the 110 feed through here now it is 110 um, because 
construction types are you know working types require 110 so it's easier to make it as a 110 uh, uh, charging system so gland in there cable comes out and then all of the electronics are sealed inside and another gland is if we have the solar option which this is i'm just waiting for the solar panels to arrive gland in there cables to come out and the solar panel will hang on the back of the unit so the new bracketry they've just finalized on it will clamp to this column it will come out and allow the panels to be fitted on the back and give us an adjustment left to right up and down because the solar output in the winter is quite poor in the uk but it's quite key that we get the south alignment so therefore having this new collar with adjustment for the solar panels and the cables coming out the rear will be critically important moving forward Okay, I don't know if you can see on the top there, but there's actually a 4G antenna. So on the top of that pod here, there's the electronics or the connections for the cameras. It's fully sealed, but also the 4G Teltonica aerial sits on top of this green pod. Okay, moving on. So, South Co keys. I need to find the South Co key. So all you need is a, a, a socket set which will allow you to undo this and slide that column down for transportation and then up into position on site the next element to this is the south co key now very generic south co key if you don't want a south co key please do let us know and we can look at options for high security locks instead of a south co key here once we unlock the unit oh help if I actually unlocked it properly wouldn't it okay you can see there's a rubber seal that sits on this door for waterproofing with an ingress lip here to stop any water ingress into the inside of the unit with the mast itself or the collar you can see here the cables come down in copex now there is a ram bar here which stops this or anybody on site from pushing this column down so firstly this locks into place when the column or the the, the center mast is deployed to stop it being pushed down simply release the the, the, the uh, bolts here this slides to the side and then you will use in this handle mechanism here you pull this and this allows it to slide down into the internal mechanism which then drops it down into there for easy transportation but again once it's up make sure this is fitted across the base of it to stop anybody pushing this down now these are the electronics that are fitted within the unit um, again some of these are optional we've sort of gone for the full fit and again if you want any of these as options please do let us know we've got two gel batteries here which will keep us running for about seven days autonomy with the four cameras in the configuration we got here the solar panel option will keep us going a little bit longer so you can see here the 84 amp hour batteries and they're all wired into the charger system and now these are the Victon Energy charging system some of these are um, optional for the solar so you can see we've actually got the PV array isolation unit there which is off because the cables are here ready for the solar panels I'm just waiting for the bracketry and the panels to arrive but we, I was just too too excited to do that but they would go out with the, the holes out the back then into the panels so we've got the smart charge controller which charges both batteries we've got the uh the uh, let me just get it in smart charger the blue smart charger unit there so this is part of the victron energy the isolator this is the master isolator here and we've got the um each one is individually fused so you can see here all of the fuses are individual and labeled so i can change a fuse individually the beauty is this doesn't take the whole system out and we've got a solar isolation there for when we fit that it's currently off now i've also got the servo gx unit fitted in this one which gives me a portal which allows me to see the energy draw of this unit i've got the net gear uh switch here which is a low voltage switch all of the cameras are powered by 12 volts instead of poe uh, they're all individually fused in that unit there uh, and i've got a connection end to my teltronica rut 95 or 955 unit here which is our 4g unit with the 4g antenna on top of this mast this allows me to access all of the cameras if i had a fixed ip sim i could directly access this and connect in i don't uh, so they're all added via the hike connect mechanism currently and again 
we've got other options for the uh, CCR, so the solar uh, portal, that's an option on our price list. So if you want a complete fleet management solution, so if you've got a lot of these units and you want a complete fleet management solution, please let us know and then we can look at getting that out to you. So how you can centrally manage all of your fleet from one simple portal. And again, the design, so the legs, these are the legs that fit inside and they can be, when you remove the legs, they obviously fit like this onto the floor as a triangle formulation. Apologies. I've got the 110 charge lead here. I did charge this unit up uh, yesterday, so it is fully charged. So we should get about seven days deployment out of this, which is really exciting. And again, the batteries are removable. Apologies. So I can simply remove the connections from the batteries, slide this unit out, and then uh, t disconnect the batteries, take the batteries out, which will lighten the load on this considerably for maneuverability. Like I don't take them out, but again, it's up to you, probably suggested that you do. But there is drainage holes along here. So any water that does come in through the mast itself, should that happen or come in through any other method, then it will drain straight through the bottom and it shouldn't um, do any damage to the unit itself because of the way it's designed, it would drain out. Again, because we've worked with the top UK mast manufacturer, we're very confident on its design. One of the other things we're looking at doing as well is uh, a ground spike, uh, uh, one of those secure spike fixings that you can drive a spike into the floor uh, for future. So the next revised model, apologies again, the next revised model, a ground spike through the floor and allow us to bolt this unit in place so it stops it being moved with one of those secure spike fixings. That's the next option and some improved um, battery tray uh, the, um, for moving forward to allow us to improve the water filtration design uh, just in case but other than that it's a very very simple unit in its simplicity and hopefully you'll agree it's also got a light in here so if i want to work on this there is a light there which allows me to turn this light on and see all of my electronics and work on it in a site condition, should I need to go and service it, change the batteries, etc. Some people would deploy these and just go and change the batteries. We can get bigger batteries in here for longer deployment. And again, that's a conversation we can have um, uh, per uh, design as such. Like, so if you need bigger batteries for bigger deployments, longer time, then please have that conversation at that time. But this light here will allow us, just make sure you turn it off, will allow us to do that. So like I said, I have got some of the optional lectures fitted in here for the solar. Uh, so this is not exact how if you don't have the solar option you, uh, some of this will not be fitted the solar side of it and the gx fleet the ccl fleet management router so there we go take another look around and that's the cameras with the active deterrent again we're just about to get this stickered up and we'll be taking this to trade shows etc if you do if you're local and you do want to pop around to dvs then please feel free to call in, take a look at it and ask any questions you want. The price list will be ready and finalized very, very soon and we'll get this out to customers. Hopefully that's captured everything I wanted to show right now. I'll just show you on Hike Connect so you know that it's actually live and working. Other than that, that's the unit as I wanted to describe it. So just stay tuned. Okay, so I've opened up my High Connect app like I said I would. You can see there the Sentinel mask, about with a C, is on the left hand side. I've added each of the four cameras, um, two cameras or two channels on the bi thermal camera. So, in fact, on the four camera system, it's actually five because one of them is a thermal. I've added them as favorites. Each one is a separate one there. So, I've got an eight megapixel sound and light camera. So I can open each one individually. Um, obviously that's the low resolution, but then I can increase that to high resolution. Now, depending on your phone and your network and the, the mass reception will obviously um, depend on how quickly that loads. Quite a good connection here in Cardiff. And you can see that is now live from our car park, um, parked in its own little space. And again, if I open up the favorites, I added them all as favorites. You can see I can open each one, change it to HD, and depending on the camera, again, it will load quite quickly. And there we have it. It's a very simple solution. They've got SD cards. So if I wanted to go in and say, for instance, go into playback, again, all of the functionality exists um, on the... So if I open it, all of the functionality exists 
uh, just glued to four. The functionality exists where you can speak to the camera directly. So if I open the camera and they are the uh, live guard active deterrent camera, I can actually open that and then use the speech function to talk live and directly to the camera speaker. So not only does it do the pre-automated warning and the flashing light, I can also use it with Hike Connect uh, and do live audio which is fantastic. Be very mindful though, if you keep looking at the cameras, it may have an impact on the, the power consumption, the power draw, so you wanna keep that to a minimum. Uh, unlimited data, you shouldn't find that affects that. You can see that's the thermal, and then that's the uh, optical side of the camera. So that would be a perimeter bit, uh, uh, normally. And other than that, that's about it. Just wanted to show you really how this works. And again, with playback, I can go in and playback, look at one of them, drop that down and say, I want to play these two back, play back. And again, that was from last night. I haven't set the other channel to record. Um, but again, that's just stored on the SD card of the camera. And you're able then to scrub it, etc. I won't do it anymore. I don't want it to take too long to load. But effectively, that's it, guys. The camera's added to Hike Connect. And again, very very powerful i hope you found this video helpful please do get in contact with sales we do have these like pre-made uh, occupied uh, you know pre ready to, for selection off the shelf if there's anything that you want that's different to that please let us know and we can do a specific or custom bespoke build and we are able to supply the larger masts from this manufacturer so if you're interested in larger deployable masts please do let us know because we can make that happen as well which is really exciting thank you for all your comments likes and shares and we'll see you next week for another how-to video thank you